Sharon joins us now live on the phone. Hi, Sharon. Are you there? Hi. Yeah, I am, John. Where yeah. are you? I'm actually on the road to Matahina Dam, and uh, I was going up to Murupara to talk to those 30 people who've been helicoptered out of Minganui because they were in trouble up there. So I was on my way there, but there's a massive slip on the road. I can't go any further. It's pretty frightening, actually. Um, a big chunk of the road has dropped down um, a good, you know, 50 metres down into, moly. The, into the river. And the river is so flooded. It's a big, wide, brown river that's rushing through the trees. It's, there's, yeah, a massive flood here. So, And a couple of young teenage boys have just driven up here. They live in Matahina, uh, and they not, they're not going home tonight, I can tell you, because they said that the road round the other side, past Te Teko up to Matahina, is also blocked off. So it's pretty dramatic stuff. Right, and of course that debris and water and all of that rubbish is just washing down the river towards uh, Edgecombe, isn't it? That's exactly right. So as, as they're saying, the worst, you know, it's not over yet, even though they're saying that the water's receded, um, it's, it, there's a heck of a lot of water coming down these rivers. And so as we were hearing from Steve, the volunteer firefighter, a lot of those houses in Edgecombe are in ruins. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The pictures that Zach's been sending are, are, are I mean, they're just devastating for anyone who knows that town. So that, so you're driving up the road towards the dam, are you? Or you were? You had yeah, to stop. Yeah. Okay. The and da it's the dam's only five minutes from here, but I can't go any further. Right. The road has just fallen away. Yeah. Well, a big chunk of it, about a third of it has, and then there's debris. There's just a huge chunk of mud and trees that have dropped down from the hill because this is a very sort of hilly area with a lot of forest and bush, pretty remote, and it's just yeah, it's just it's a massive slip has just pushed down the side of the hill across the road and then taken away a chunk of the road and then dropped down into the into the swollen river. And, and Sharon, has it, has it been raining really, really hard since you got there? Or is this water coming down from the hills further up the river and an accumulation of, of flooding from last month too? No, John, it hasn't rained at all here today. It's been quite Bizarre. funny. I mean, there was a, the odd shower. But people I talked to said it's rained non-stop for two days. Right. And, yeah, and so it's just... The, the water that's coming down from the hills, because we're talking about like Harimwana, the Uruwiras, all that area yeah, there, yeah, yeah. rushing down from the hills, and they get a lot of rain up there, and it's just pouring down. And I talked to a couple of lifesavers who went out on their boats. They just got back about an hour ago um, from their boats. They were, they were the ones who were out looking looking into the houses. They were the only ones who could get in there because it was even too deep for the um, for the army trucks to go in there. They said it was chest height or even higher. So they were there was a bunch of them that went out on their boats and they started um, just looking through windows, checking that everybody was out of their houses. They said it was incredible. It was like a river was rushing through the town. It was. They said it was like being out on their on their boats on the surf. They had to negotiate through a rushing river. Absolutely extraordinary. Sharon Brett Kelly, do take care, Sharon. Thank you. Okay, lovely to talk to Sharon Brett Kelly, who was on a road that has just basically given away. That's on its way up. So you go through Edgecombe. Um, I'm not sure which side of the river actually Sharon is on. I got a bit confused about that, but there's Tateko up there, and then you're basically at the dam, and then beyond that, you're starting to get pretty remote. Bear in mind, this is not far from Whakatane. As the crow flies, it's no distance at all. Not terribly far from Rotorua or Tauranga. Uh, uh, but there is a lot of water coming down from those hills. A 